During World War II, the Germans came up with a plan to secure their military communications. They did so with the help of the Enigma machine. It looks similar to a typewriter but with an additional set of keys at the top. When a character is pressed, the corresponding letter from the set above would light up. This would then become the cipher text. Initially, many regarded the Enigma code to be unbreakable because of its apparent complexity. Among the various nations putting effort to crack the code, the British were the ones to make the actual breakthrough. In Bletchley Park, they had come up with a plan to decipher these communications using an equally ingenious device called the bomb. It was also during this period a man named Alan Turing made his mark in the history of mankind. His contributions were not only crucial to the development of the bombs, but would also lay the foundation for what is now known as computer science. During this era, machines played an important role in encrypting and decrypting information. This greatly increased the speed of the process and as a result, gave room for complexity to thrive. Secrets, however, have existed long before World War II. It has been alongside us ever since we had our first thoughts. The early records of encryption can be traced all the way back to ancient Egypt in the form of substitution ciphers. This was a fairly simple technique where characters were simply swapped for one another, making them useless to the uninterested eye. A similar technique sprouted in the era of Julius Caesar. Only this time, each character was simply shifted to either direction with a certain magnitude. If it was the second character to the left, then A would become C and B would become D. Encryption has now become more accessible than ever. This is because all modern encryption has roots in just a few standard methods. But unlike the old ones, even if one knows how the method works, they are still immune to brute force attacks. They pull this off with the sheer number of possibilities alone. For example, if you take a password that is 20 characters long, containing only alphabets and numbers, one must have to go through this many possibilities to crack the code. But as technology continues to grow, these great numbers will soon enter the realm of what's possible. As my curiosity leads me back to topics related to cryptography, I once again stumbled upon something interesting. One that serves a similar purpose to encryption, but is totally different on the surface. Take this image for example. If you're an avid Mona Lisa enjoyer, upon close inspection, you'll notice something odd about it. And you'd be 100% correct. This Mona Lisa has lost some of its information, which means it's lost some of its color values but it's a necessary sacrifice to store some other information in its place. Yes, that's correct. This Mona Lisa contains a secret message. In fact, it contains the entire first page of the Principia by Sir Isaac Newton. And in this video, we'll explore the art of hiding information in other information and venturing into a world of secrets hidden in plain sight. Technography is the art of hiding information in other information. So its very existence goes unnoticed to the unsuspecting eye. And because of this, it covers the many shortcomings of securing information by traditional means. Take this image of the Mona Lisa I showcased earlier. Within it lies the first page of the Principia in text. This is however achieved with moderate sacrifice. After all, we need room to accommodate the changes. When it comes to hiding strings in an image, we usually sacrifice the last bit in each byte of the image. Since the text is usually smaller than the image, the loss of information in the cover is almost negligible. Strings, however, aren't the only things we can store within an image. We can hide an entire picture within another. Take a look at this image that I created. Does it raise any suspicion? If you were to see this on social media, you would simply think, well, that's a beautiful Porsche 911. But if you decipher the image, we get this. A whole different picture of a Gundam. 
but as you can see the loss of information is severe in this instance. This is because images are bigger compared to text and we cannot get away with simply storing one bit of the secret image. To get optimal results we use at least 3 to 4 bits. It's also easier to hide dense images in other dense images because the variations in pixels neatly camouflage any changes. One way to deal with this problem is to use a smaller image within a bigger cover. But if not done properly, this could have the exact opposite effect, where the tamperings are easily visible. A solution that I came up with is to simply hide a QR code in the image. The advantage of this method is that almost any kind of media can be stored this way, and that too with negligible information loss. But this type of communication hides weakness with one assumption. No one is aware of the communication in the first place. And when caught, it's pretty easy to decode. As mentioned earlier, the secrets are hidden with a set number of bits within each byte. So we simply need to go through each byte and extract the X amount of least significant bits to recover the private information. But I simply couldn't sit around and let this slide. So I thought of a way to strengthen its security by using my experiences from the Written in the Stars and the Library of Babel. By default, the method performs bit manipulation with the same indices. For example, the R channel of pixel 1 in the cover image will only access the last 4 bits of the R channel of pixel 1 in the secret image. We can however increase the security by several magnitudes by simply introducing unordered pixel mapping. Now pixel 1 of the cover might be mapped to pixel 500 of the secret image. The order of pixels is totally random and a single image can have multiple pixel maps. So without knowing this order, the enemy cannot extract the hidden secret. To decode the image, I used a password or a seed. The seed will generate a sequence of numbers in a random number generator, which is then used as indices for each pixel. Since the seed always generates the same sequence, the order is restored. This is how the image looks with the wrong password. It's just random noise. This however is with the correct one. So if technography is such an impressive way to store information, why don't we hear about it much often? The applications for it are immense. An artist could store their copyright information within artworks, files could have their creation data etched into them, and much more. In computer science, it is important that we factor in all variables that might affect the results of our program. And by nature, steganography is not something we can completely control. Since information is hidden within the bytes themselves, any further modification to that image, even a slight one, will significantly alter the information it carries. And this is particularly problematic when it comes to sharing things online. Almost every media sharing service employs a compression algorithm to optimize the size of the upload. And compression algorithms aren't particularly well known for preserving information. Take a look at these two images. One is the original with a watermark and the other the exact same image uploaded to Instagram. Now if we run them through the same decryption algorithm, this is what we get. Even though they both look the same, their cores have shifted completely. Which is more than enough to collapse our secrets into randomness. This however isn't the only variable we cannot control. In the age of the internet, there are factors like color space, resolution, post-processing, and much more that will keep our secrets hidden forever. Sometimes representing data differently is enough to completely hide its purpose. A spectrogram represents audio and audio simply represents frequencies, yet one can be seen and the other cannot. In my past projects, I've tried again and again to capture this mysterious phenomenon of patterns, where one's own perception blinds them from the truth. In the Library of Babel, this concept was taken to a rudimentary level. I simply changed the context of the user input and now all of a sudden, my program contains every written text possible. Infinite possibilities born in the mind of a person, simply because they are less aware. 
but once the methods are revealed, you feel cheated. The mind takes you on a journey to find answers, a journey through many dimensions. But only to find out what you were looking for was always right in front of you. To you and me, strings could mean many things beyond words. But for a computer, all things are the same, sprouted from the combinations of just two possibilities. Since we have come this far, why not try to hide information in a different format? This time we'll try to hide secrets in audio files. This is using the same technique as before. At the core, we are modifying the byte of each sample to accommodate a single bit from the image. We start off by collecting every byte of the image and concatenating them to a string. I advise using a string builder or something similar because traditional concatenation will take you forever. Also pad each value to a full byte before concatenation. This is important because while performing the reverse operations, we know exactly which byte belongs where. After modification, simply export the audio as a WAV file. Notice any difference? They are indistinguishable. Since we are only altering one bit of each sample, the loss of information is kept to the bare minimum. Now let's recover the secret image. First we'll go through each sample and pick out the last bit, and then add it to a big binary string. Once that's complete, let's iterate through the big binary string, extracting every 8 characters. This will become the pixel information. We'll assign every 3 bytes to the R, G and B channels respectively. After this we can simply export the newly created image. And here's how it looks. I'm using a 2 minute WAV file that is roughly 22 megabytes. The image however is only 70 KB with a resolution 500 by 500 pixels. Because of this immense size difference, we can completely store the image within the audio file without losing a single bit. That's why both images look indistinguishable. They are the same after all. Patterns are all around us. It's a fundamental part of the universe. Yet many of us only see patterns in art, design and the ones that are clearly visible to the eye. Important patterns, I believe, are the ones that are abstract, undefined, and hidden. Human behavior itself is a pattern, influenced by other patterns. We are only one variable in a huge sea of variables. We are only patterns hidden in plain sight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Also, I'm now on Patreon, so if you feel like helping me out, do take a look. You'll receive benefits like source codes of my projects, extras and more. With that said, I will see you in the next adventure.